official and behind the scene, the sideways, you know, uh, try to address the situation. But I am very happy uh, that uh, His Excellency John Mahama has been sworn in. Uh, having worked with him uh, closely when he was director of communications for the party, and also occasionally in government, uh, I know that he is a very, very dedicated person, man committed to duty also, committed to the people of this country, and he will steer the affairs of the country and the party. He is now the leader of the party, and it is my belief that he will be able to manage the situation and the party will go through successfully, notwithstanding this difficulty that we find ourselves. Unfortunately, even though it's, it's early days yet, we will still need to engage the issue of succession. Gotcha. And at this point, what are you picking from the ground? What, what do we know as in how the party is going to approach this? Well, I, no, I first of no. all, I think cabinet will meet. I am not sure. I should think that they will be meeting by now. I'm not sure, but I picked some information. The party itself will meet. The National Executive Committee will meet. And then all the necessary um, mechanisms will be put in place to ensure that our party uh, remains very solid very united and also uh, ready for the 2012 elections. You know, talking about which yesterday we tried getting your constitution just to run through and see what is said specifically yeah, to a situation. Of course, yeah. it's very historical. It's, it's yeah, unprecedented, yeah. to borrow your word, mm -hmm. uh, for, for us to have a sitting president uh, leaving us in this manner. And so, well, constitu the constitution of the country uh, sort of makes some form of provision for this. Uh, but skimming through your, or your, party your constitution. party's constitution, it was difficult to, to find a specific, really uh, a yeah. relevant, yes. Yeah, I've heard of a number of rumors going around. But then I, I, what I can simply say is that the party will deal with the situation. We are a very strong party. We are a very party that is committed to Ghana's development. And we will make sure that we will act in a way that the party okay, will move to a successful 2012 election. There will be no leadership crisis. Yes, there will be polling here and there. But at the end of the day, there will be no crisis. I believe strongly under the leadership of uh, his Excellency John Mahama. But but is is this a critical concern for the party itself? Of obviously before even the the death of the pres the late president. Indeed, this is issue of leadership has always been dogging the the, yeah. the well, heels of of the party. It's been a divisive issue for the party. Of course, we would love that for such a sudden twist, we'll be able to rally together and find a more unifying course. But it's, it's difficult not to also think about what has been happening in the past and to then predict that is it likely that we'll be going same direction? Yeah, I believe strongly everybody is sober. Cool heads will be at work. And at the end Who of the day... Who will be, be the, 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 the leaders leading this? Well, I this, believe, this, having this known the current president, uh, I think he has all the qualities to manage the situation. He has all the qualities to bring the various factions together. He has the qualities to speak to them. He's a very, very, if I'm to use the word, very diplomatic gentleman. And it's my prayer that all the moves that he will and I think would bring a, a sort of positive image and success to our party. So when are we likely to see a resolution of this? Can you give us an idea? Well, that would depend on the National Executive Committee of the party. I'm unable to. But the party will definitely let Ghanaians know. We are a very transparent party. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to hear that, but of course, uh, you will be. And then, before Why, we... Do you disagree with me? Oh, no. I, it's, it, it's not about whether I agree or disagree. But at this point, I guess we'll just, we'll just stick to... Another time. I, I guess so. But before we let you go, I'm yeah. um, still just focusing on your morning, uh, we, we were looking, we're trying to just, you know, look at what we would, what Ghana can, can 
place a finger on as his legacy for the country. But before we even do that, for the party, what would you say is the Professor Mills's legacy for the NDC party that he would he would be remembered for as towering above perhaps other achievements? We well, would we'll, we'll remember him one for bringing us back to power. You will remember him for the developments that his administration you know, has undertaken, especially the school and the trees, number of projects you know, across the country in the health sector, in the agriculture sector, in the energy sector. I think he's, he's done a lot. I mean, even if you look at the petroleum bill and the way the whole issue is being managed, you know, I think he's done well for the party. We are going to stand on the good development project that his administration, you know, implemented. But for the party as an organization. Well, the party as an organization will always remember him as someone who led us to victory and someone who projected key aspects of the ideals of the party. I see. So what would be your final words to Ghanaians, those who are watching you now, well, especially I, for your members across the country who are watching to hear something to soothe their pains? Uh, first of all, I'll tell them that um, all of them should conduct themselves very well. We are in pain and that um, they should do whatever we can as a party uh, to make sure we promote what the party and Professor Mills stood for. Professor Mills will be happy wherever he is. I believe he's in the hands of God that we steer the affairs of the party and the country well to meet the expectations of Kenyans. In my working relations with him, what I really, really saw from him is he wished every Ghanaian well. He, he wished Ghanaians could have a better life, and that is why we had a better Ghana agenda. And it's our prayer that as he is no more, those of us alive will do what it takes to achieve the objective that he had for Ghana. Thank you very much, Seth, for those very insightful words. I'm very sure um, your... Well, let me, let me say that um, uh, the party is closely in touch with the family. Uh, we will make sure whatever it takes, we will see them through in this difficult time. And uh, we wish that the good Lord will accept him and take good care of him for us. Thank you very much, and I'm very sure Ghana is consoled by your words. Thanks very much. We've been talking to Seth um, Oforio Hine, who is the former press secretary of the NDC party and also worked closely with uh, candidate Mills then until he was elected into office in 2008.